Hi there, <coughs> excuse me, um, and welcome back. So here I am again with my scraps. Just wanted to show you um, the whole pages that I did. I just put a hole in <coughs> and I've put a ring in and I've just got them hanging up. So I thought if I keep them hanging up, I'm not gonna forget that I've got them. So today <coughs> I'm gonna do um, some clusters and I've got a variety of piles next to me. I've got uh, some blues, I've got some brown paper, what I've stamped, I've got some grid paper, I've got some more um, like brown tissue that I've stamped, some brown brown paper, <laughs> I've got some text and music paper, I've got some uh, lace digital paper, I've got some piano music uh, roll, I've got some tea bags and I've got some pieces of film. Um, and I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to do clusters and I'm going to keep them um, like this. Once they're dried, I am going to go up and down uh, with the sewing machine. So I'm only going to do them with a uh, glue stick. And then, yeah, like I say, I'll go up and down them um, with the sewing machine. So let's make a start. So I want to leave quite a gap so I've got enough to, you know, um, rip round them. I'll start the, f the first one off like at the, at the edge. Um, and then leave enough room to, to go round them. Right, now I'm looking at all these piles going, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, what do I pick? Um, right, let's think about this. Or not. I definitely want some uh, tall ones. So, don't glue the wrong side. So, pop that there. And pop that over the top. I have sat and ripped all these down and I've um, inked all around them as well. So that's that. Right. That's another good one for a, for a long one. gonna have to turn the light up and um, I've only just put it on and it's it's quite dark I've not got it on uh, bright enough let me let me turn it up oh that's better I can see <laughs> might help now I can uh, see right let's um not decorating them and leaving them pretty uh, neutral apart from the ones that that pop blue on because then I can decorate them as I want them like that right let's get some um, tissue down Like so. Okay. Do they want anything else? I think this one, I'm going to have some blue. there so there's plenty of room to to rip round let's add something else on this one let's put 
Johnson. Some music paper. So I'm quite happy uh, with those. Right, let's start again. My pretty square ones. I think I'll do this as a tall one. That's quite a tall piece. So let's do that down here. So yeah, I'm thinking probably where to get six to to a page. Move that down like so. Just gonna stick some vellum in between before I pop that down. So, got sticky fingers already. So, I don't think that goes because it's got some uh, red on it. That's got red on it as well, so I might add can't do it like that because I do like um the long ones because <clears throat> I like then um, you can put a tab on the side and use them as um, tabs so yeah I do, do like the long ones right let's do some more squarey type ones so we'll pop that there and we'll pop this one here so, pop one down that. I'm going to put some labels on them because if I put an image on the top when I use them, obviously I can still um, go over. Um, a label so if I had a label and then put a bird at the front of it or whatever um, it'll it'll still go go nicely so that's that one okay, I'll just put a bit of tissue on on that what's that yes oh come on just in there Right, that's that one. Then this one, some music, so another piece of this vellum. I could do with something going. No. Um, what can I have? I think I'm going to have to have some kind of colour. Ah, oh, that might be, be okay. Pop one there. And then that's a bit of tissue. So that's that one. So um, I'll look at some some labels. I don't really want them with the picture on, so that would be fine. Maybe it's not really long enough that is and I've gone too too wide really. Um, I suppose I could add um, onto it as I use it. I think they're probably a little bit too too big. I like that one. I 
lots of them. I'm definitely going to get big labels. Shall go with that. I'm just gonna go round them um, with ink and glue them down, and then that's the first page uh, done. I'll have to put a hole in the in the middle. Don't think that one wants ink. That's fine. to <coughs> stick down because when your, your fingers get sticky I think your fingers end up being stickier than the, than the paper yep Right, so that's the, the first sheet done. Okay, let's do another sheet. So use some of this music uh, piano paper. We'll be putting this back in the shop soon. <coughs> I've cut um, a load of music paper but um, I want to put some of the green decorators paper in as well so I need a session of um, cutting. It's quite time consuming because obviously the roll is bigger than uh, the cutter so you have to um, you know cut it down. Before you can even cut it. And say a lot of those others, they was quite boxy. Um, I'll just try and stop doing them so so boxy. What's that? Oh, no, I don't want some music paper. Lovely. Right, let's have a look what we can 
and do with this. Got my mother is used up. The only thing is they are obviously square. And I'm thinking if I rip them down, there won't be um, a lot left of them. So perhaps do that. That. Let's get that down <coughs> first. It's actually upside down, so I have to go upside. That might throw me a bit. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. And then have that on that side. Yep. So I like to do them quite big because um, <coughs> they can be then used as, as tucks or like I say, um, page tabs. Or if they're too big when you go to use them, you can just tear, tear them down a bit. You don't have to use them uh, to the exact size that or shape that you've uh, done them in. It's just about, you know, getting your scraps um used used up do want some colour maybe I'd be best if I turned my glue stick up a little bit right that's fabulous so very not a zigzag but um it's very I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what word to use, but it's very right. What's that? Yeah, I like that. So it looks as if I'm just gonna get four um on this one. Sometimes I find I'm best doing clusters like that, just in me in my hand. Um, I find that easier. I don't know why, because you would think that that would be a little bit more fiddly, but um, I feel like I can build it build it up better. So we'll go like that. Let's have some of this chocolate brown. Let's go like that. And maybe, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I've not got a lot to, to tell you, really. Um, I've not got back into, you know, going out and about and things like that. Um, I've booked um, <laughs> doctor's appointments, um, optician's appointments um, and things like that. Because I need to, to get all those um, done. But um, yeah, I've not not been out and about. Oh, I did go to um, where I work last night because um, I wanted something new to wear. But um, I didn't buy anything. I bought a new bathroom bin, but um, I didn't buy anything to wear. Really didn't. Um, well, nothing caught caught my eye, which is surprising because normally when I'm working, um, I'm forever seeing things. I don't know if I'm going to bother putting um, the labels on. I think that's making it more more complicated, so <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. So that's those. I suppose I could fit one. Shall I just fit a little one on there? Yeah. 
No, I'm not going to. Right, so that's number two. Um, yeah, so I didn't see anything. I took Eleanor with me and I thought I thought she'd be, you know, I want this, that and the other. And again, there wasn't um, much. <laughs> she, but she did try some high heels on it. It was so funny. Because um, we booked to um, go out Christmas Day. Um, and... Yeah, we, you know, we've been saying we need a new outfit and <coughs> what have you. And um, my middle daughter had bought Eleanor a couple of dresses for, for her birthday. So we had a session of uh, trying them on. Um, and <coughs> I've booked for us to go out Boxing Day as well because um, obviously it'll be the first Christmas um, <coughs> without my mum and it is my mum's birthday on Christmas Day um, so I, you know I'm, it's going to be be a tough tough time so I said um, you know and obviously I'm not really in the mood for, for Christmas you know I'm going to go through the motions and, and what have you I'm excited to get the Christmas tree on I love getting the Christmas tree on um but yeah there's that sludgy feeling you know when you think think about it so i said oh i'm just gonna book us um to go for a meal and then you know one it's it's a change um we've not uh at out christmas for many years um we've always stayed stayed at home so you know, just to change the scenery will be, uh, not scenery, change of routine will be um, nice. Um, so, yeah, I booked, booked that a while ago. Um, and then last week I said, you know what, I'm going to see if I can get us in somewhere for Boxing Day. Um, so I have... Um, that's really local. Uh, in fact, it's a it's a pub that uh, my mum worked in many many years ago, and it was um it was my first Saturday uh, job as well. Um, you know, I'm, I'm talking many moons ago. Um, so yeah, we're going going there. So yeah, we was um yeah, you because know, I I love clothes and I get really excited by clothes and stuff. So. Um, kind of planning, you know, what we're wearing and stuff. Um, you know, busy as, busy as your mind. Um, so yeah, she's um, tried tried those two dresses on because uh, we're seeing if she needed uh, something new to wear. Um, obviously, she would have something new to wear, but um. You know, like I said to her, by, by summer or the next time she wants to wear a dress, these dresses, what she's got, they, they won't fit her um, anymore. So, if she, you know, there's not many occasions that um, she'd put a dress on. I mean, she is very much jeans and, and trainers. Um, she does like getting dressed up. Um but you know, if you're not going going out or anything, it's there's no point. Um so yeah, she's decided, you know, to wear one of these dresses Christmas Day and one boxing day. Um I've got a dress that I bought not last year, uh the year before, uh, which I'll probably wear boxing day because it's a little bit more uh casual. Um, so I'll need something to wear for Christmas Day. I don't want something sparkly. I mean, I don't mind it, you know, a bit of diamante or, or something, but I don't want anything, you know, sequiny. Um, but yeah, there was nothing uh, that, that I fancied. 
so yeah the only thing she does need is is some shoes to go with the dress and she'd said to me like can i have some high heels and i said well yeah you can have some high heels but it you know it's depending what kind what you're thinking of high heels and what i'm thinking of high heels by you know i'm thinking you know two inch <laughs> obviously she's thinking um you know a lot bigger so anyway <laughs> she tried these heels and oh my goodness the there was one of the highest heels i've ever seen <laughs> She'd got little, she'd gone in her trainers, obviously, and her, and her jeans, and she'd got little trainer socks on, uh, black ones. <laughs> she tried the, the beautiful pair of shoes, these nude um, shoes, uh, with these little trainer socks on, and she was prancing up and down, and she'd got this really funny uh, walk, and knees kind of was bending really funny, um, and she was doing like a model uh, walk. Uh, yeah, it, it really did make me laugh. Uh, but yeah, they, they was far too high. Um, but she's got some little, well, they're my mum's actually. They're a little bit too big for her, but I don't think my mum, I don't know if she'd not wore them or she's definitely not, not wore them much. Um, some little kind of, a little bit like a West, uh boot um a black one and i said that they'd look really nice with with um your dress so if if we don't find uh some shoes then because she's only actually a two and a half she's got the most tiniest feet but my mum was only um a three and ryan's mum's only a three um and the, you know both like well yeah, just just five foot i suppose so they're both really tiny and me and ryan are only five foot six so you know we're not giants um <coughs> so she is very very petite um so you know obviously she's 14 now and she's still in like junior <laughs> size shoes yeah, and obviously she doesn't like junior size shoes. I think that's really why she started wearing trainers. Right, that's another one. Yeah, they, they're getting better uh, as I go go on. It's surprising. Might run out of um, plain paper. I'm saying I don't want to over blue everything just in case I want them for something else. But if you remember my scraps, there was... Uh, blues uh, and there was a bit of um autumn but there was no really uh botanical uh colors because obviously i'd already cleared uh my scraps out because i do i do try and well i try and use everything that that i print out um and if i don't use everything as i am using you know my leftovers and that i try to to mop up as i as i go So yes, I need a dress, but um, like I say, I've booked um, to go to the opticians, which is in town. Um, so I'm going to have, have a look while I'm in town. Um, and I'm going on a train um, at the beginning of December. Um, it was a trip that my mum had booked for, for her and my auntie, um, you know, as part of their uh, Christmas present. <coughs> Um, and it was strange because um, that week before my mum passed away, when um, well, no, the, two years before she passed away, when I was going out um, in the evening just to sit sit with her and watch um, TV, um, we was watching um, Michael playing, um, and he was travelling um, all around Australia. Um, in an old steam train um, and I was saying to my mum like, I'd love to go um, you know on a on a steam train and she said that she'd got this <coughs> um, trip 
don't like that one. This trip uh, booked with my auntie, and she said, um, she said if I'm too poorly to go, um, you'll have to go, go, you know, for me. Um, so after um, <laughs> she passed away, I did say to to my auntie, like, do you want to go? And we, it's one of them. Oh, you don't, you don't know what to do, do you? It's, you know, part of you thinks, well, you know, you should go. My mum would be cross if, you know, she's paid for this this trip and nobody's, nobody's gone. Uh, and my mum would, you know, would would have liked us to have gone together. Um, so we've we've toed and froed about it. Um, and obviously, you know, when I was <coughs> poorly, I was thinking, oh, I'm really not, you know, mentally um, up to it. But, um, yeah, I said uh, to my auntie last week, I said, I think, I think I'll be fine uh, to go. Um, <laughs> so I was saying, because um, I don't, you know, I don't normally go out. I only really have pyjamas, work clothes and, you know, what I go shopping in kind of thing. I mean, my work clothes are obviously smart because um, I work in a clothes shop. Um, and, you know, I do buy quite a lot of uniforms, so that ends up being, you know, what I kind of wear, but it's not, it's smart, um, you know, nice blouses and things. Um... But yeah, I said I'm gonna need some some outfits because um, it's it's like a bus trip um, to where wherever we're going, and I think it's like a, a market town that we're going to. Um, and there's gonna be you know a Christmas market on and and stuff. And then we'll stay in a hotel um, that night. And then the following day we go on this steam train. And um, <laughs> there's going to be carol singers and a band. Um, Santa Claus. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty special. So I'm going to need, you know, my warm coat on. And that to, to walk around the markets and and things and need something nice to wear um that evening because if we're staying in a hotel i'm guessing you know we'll walk around um the town it when i say town it'll be more like a village you know but um they've normally uh, got you know cobbled streets and oh, it'd be very very nice so yes i'll need something nice nice to wear but warm um so i'm thinking i might have get myself a nice um furry hat and some nice gloves and um, i've got a nice black coat um my auntie's got a ruby red coat and i'm guessing she'll be going <laughs> in that with the fur on um not real fur um but um yeah, so it'll be nice to get dressed up and, um, you know, go to Christmas market and all those, you know, nice smells and sounds and and things. So, um, and I, I even need to get an overnight uh, bag because, you know, normally when uh, we go away, I obviously go with Ryan um, and Elmer, so I don't actually own uh, an overnight bag. Um, everything would be too big, so I do need to get myself an overnight bag. Um, so yeah, that's not not long. Um, it won't be won't be long, and then the week after, um, my mum would also book tickets, um, and they go most years. Um, to Chatsworth Hall um, and they have um, like a Christmas thing on um, they decorate all the rooms it's a stately home for those of you who's um, 
you know not not in the uk so yeah it's an old stately home um and it's open all through the year it's a beautiful house and the grounds are absolutely amazing um <clears throat> so yeah google it it's uh, chatsworth hall and this year it's 20 years um of it so what they're doing is each room they're going to decorate it um you know all through the years of, of um oh look at this all through those 20 years um so again it was something we didn't know if we should go or or not and i said um to me auntie like well you know you'll be able to tell me the stories of you know when you came came with my mum on different years because i know there was some um what my mum really liked uh they did nutcracker one year and though she really did like like that um so yeah I, it, it, it's they're obviously going to be lovely things uh to do and see but obviously you know it, it's it's going to be sad um so yeah that that's actually the week after the the train trip so um yeah with them um, having a chronic condition you know i don't go out a lot and stuff because um i find it really um, exhausting um, so yeah I have to make sure you know I rest beforehand and um, you know the week through it um, otherwise I will be exhausted and being out in the cold um, and things like that that can you know set set my condition off so like I say I do need to get some nice warm um hats and gloves and and stuff not just to look pretty <laughs> but to to keep warm i think i'm just gonna have enough to to do another one so that was really good i think i've done six i don't know one two three four that's the that's the this is the fifth then I thought as if I'd done six, but yeah, surprising how it uses um, your stuff up. I'll have to do these more blue because obviously I've not got a lot of uh, neutrals left. I mean, I could rip some up, but I'm not going to. Yeah. I can say it's really hard to rip because my fingers are, are really sticky. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we've not watched any Christmas films yet, which is very um, unlike us. Like I say, as much as I'm, you know, looking forward to getting the tree up and stuff, I'm... Yeah. It's, it's difficult. I did say to Alan um, that normally I'm quite ter territorial over the Christmas tree and stuff. And I did say uh, to her, like, um, you know, I'm going to leave leave her to do to do a lot of that. Because um, I did bring my mum's Christmas tree down here and... Um, Oh, her beautiful ornaments. She's got some such beautiful um, tree decorations. I'm, you know, more a traditional uh, tree. My mum is, you know, more peacock feathers and <laughs> diamonds and pearls. And, oh, I, and she used to decorate it beautiful. Um, so, yeah, when we get the Christmas, because... When I fetched it down, I just, you know, mixed it in with ours. Um, so, I did say to Alan, they're like, we're going to have to get everything out and sort out um, what we're having on, on what tree. So, I think Alan is having 
um, you know, my mum's stuff um, in her room. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That blue is beautiful. Right, I think one more and, and that will be be job lot. Let's put this under here so I don't have to rip it. Hmm. Oh, got another piece here. Yeah, I'll go something like that. So if I put that in the corner. Yeah. Oh, I forgot which way it goes. Was it even that piece I was using? Or was it that piece? I think it was that. That's it. So that goes there. I think this book is Russian. And that's that so that is our lot so yeah that's all all i've got left those bits of blue which i did think i'd probably rip too much um up and then just a few pieces of vellum which i did find pretty hard i mean again i could have torn torn around them but you know by the time you've torn around them they're, they're absolute nothingness aren't they um and I'm just not good with it, with the square square edge. So, um, yeah, we've got lots of. I really like that one and that one. Oh, they're all nice. <laughs> so that is that. I'm gonna get a hole in them and um, get them up with um, the collage board. So you'll probably see these pop up um, next year. Um, as I'm doing some blue blue things so thank you very much for joining me today a bit of a longer video I, I did wonder if to split it into two but then I thought you know it's a bit isn't it um, so yeah get back on with uh, doing the Christmas um, well the winter botanicals which I'm absolutely loving beautiful uh, kit in fact that reminds me I have just printed out the Nina college type or oh, this is uh, from her velvet Christmas I'm not using that kit I just um, printed this one out because I wanted these um, trees but um, and that's from that kit as well so I'm going to fussy cut that she's done it on this beautiful music paper which means when you've cut it out um, you've still got something behind it but yeah she's brought out a winter botanicals labels well words and fussy cut i printed this to 75 percent because i wanted some smaller um labels so you get one labels one words uh fussy cut again i did that to 75 percent oh and i did it to 100% as well and you get two sheets look at this absolutely and that's my favorite pattern uh, from the kit so yeah you get those with them too so yeah I've just printed that out um, today <laughs> I messaged her um, one day and I said um, you know I've got so far in the uh, winter botanicals but I really need some labels and fussy cuts and um, yeah, she, she created that for me. So thank you very much, Nanine. So she's just put it up in, in the shop um, and I'll be cutting it out and mixing it up. Um, so I'm gonna finish my coffee off. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye for now.